Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing set up. When you click on the settings icon and uh, scroll, I don't know, maybe like halfway down the page, you'll see that the, the server name or IP address, um, the default is to PySignage. And that's okay for now. Well, the first step really is to go to PySignage and register the player and get a license for this installation, okay? So we'll come back here in a minute and we'll point this to our own server, but for now, we'll, we'll keep it at PySignage. And what we'll do is we'll just head over to um, PySignage at PySignage.com and log in with the account that you created um, in the first step. So mine is... If I used the correct password, that would probably help a little. Okay, we're in. So we're at PySignage.com, we're logged into our account, and we're gonna go ahead and register a player. Now, when you're in this section, it gives you a couple different options for license type. Because we're actually using our own installation, our own player on our own server, all we wanna do here is player license only. And it says to use this option to download the license for open source server option. So there's a managed op option and a player license only option. We wanna choose this player license only, okay? Um, the next thing is to enter in the 16 digit player ID, 9008A52, okay? And I've got mine already in here. So you can enter in your, um, your player ID, and the rest I'm just going to leave as default and I'm gonna go ahead and click register. And then next I am gonna go down to the licenses and subscriptions area here. And when we first started, I think I mentioned this before, PySignage.com gives you two free licenses, okay? Um, you know, they're, to the best of my knowledge, they are uh, fully loaded and functional licenses. To the best of my knowledge, there's no limitations on them. Um, they give you two free. And what happened is when we registered that player, one of our licenses, one of our two, um, got deployed. And you can see here that our license is uh, here for us to download. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to download it to our PC. Just click download. And you can see that the license has been um, downloaded to the PC. So we're good there. Pretty much everything we need to do here now is, is done. What we need to do is register the player and get our license, which we did. The next step is to, I'm just gonna actually X out of here because we're done with PySignage.com. And I'm gonna head back over to our installation, okay? Uh, on our Ubuntu server, we're on DigitalOcean. This is our installation of the, of the um, Signage Player server, okay? Um, yours might look a little bit different up here. I've already connected this and tested it. So you can see that in here in the last 60 minutes, one um, player was connected, but right now there's zero. Yours will probably say zeros across the board if this is your first time doing it, okay? So what we're gonna do is go over to settings and available licenses for this server. There's nothing here right now. We're gonna upload the license that we just downloaded from pysignage.com to our own installation. So that's pretty easy. Go to my downloads, I can see uh, the license here, um, actually the license nomenclature, you'll see that it matches the um, the player ID. So I'm just going to select that and I'm gonna open it. And boom, now that license appears on our installation of the signage server. Okay, so we've got our license. And now the final step is to go back to our Raspberry Pi. And we are, remember here it is... Um, out of the box, it's configured to point to PySignage.com. What we're going to do is we're going to now tell it to stop stop pointing at PySignage.com and start pointing to our own installation, our own Ubuntu server. And all I'm going to do to do that is just go up here and copy our IP address. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to clean out that PySignage. I'm going to paste. I'm just going to get rid of anything... Um, extra here and I'm just going to put the IP address and uh, don't forget that you need to put the port number. We chose port 3000 in step one when we set this up. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got the right port number. I'm going to hit change 
And what should happen next is uh, this should reboot and the updated uh, IP address uh, should be um, installed. And when we reboot this, instead of connecting to PySignage, it should now connect over to our server. So let's, let's give it a go. I'm going to hit change. Server name has been reconfigured. Player will reload the program. Okay, so we're rebooting here. Let's see what happens. I'm going to switch over and take a look at our server dashboard. Ah, see something changed here, guys. Um, the, the dashboard is now showing that one active uh, player is installed. And before, when we looked at it, there was there was zero. So it was successful. It it when we changed our our Raspberry Pi settings to point away from PySignage.com into our own server, we hit change. It rebooted, and boom, it showed up here. Okay, so you're probably wondering why there's donuts floating in front of your screen, or floating on our screen. And really, that's kind of the next step in all of this. And and it's really about content. But for now, um, this concludes. Uh, this step of the process, which was uh, setting up our, our signage server. Um, no, we set up our signage server in part one. In part two, we connected our player to the signage server. And, and that's what we've got here. We've got a positive connection. Um, and now we're really ready to get into the content, which is where these donuts are coming from. Um, but we'll get into that in the next section. So if you've made it this far, congratulations. You've got your own signage server installed on Ubuntu. And you have got uh, your own uh, affiliated player uh, on a Raspberry Pi that's connecting to your server. And um, next, we're going to get into how these assets are uploaded and how you can start to control what, uh, what shows up on your screen. All right. So that's the next section.